Hey, CrossFit events, welcome to your Water Explained for Tuesday, February 11th. Yep, we have a long Metcon in store for you today. Let's talk about it. We start off with your warm up. You're going to do three rounds of the following you're going to get a barbell, you're going to put 50% of your 1RM strict press on it, and then you're going to do one round of the barbell bear complex. So that's seven sequences of power clean, front squat, push press, back squat, push press. <clears throat> you guys know what that is. So the coaches will take you through it, make sure you understand it. So one round of the seven sequences of that, followed by 10 iron crosses, followed by 10 scorpions. That's one round of the warm-up. You're going to repeat three rounds of that to properly prepare you for today's what? Um, then right before that, you're going to do a quick skill review. Spend Coaches will spend eight minutes on today's wad movements, which the hero wad for today is DT which is five rounds for time of 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, and six push jerks. So the movements the coach is going to review is deadlift, hang power clean, and push jerk. Once you get the bar up to your shoulders, for if it says push jerk, you guys have to do push jerk, which means get that second dip underneath. And you're going to need it because we want to use heavier weights today. So the loads for the C group is 155 and 105. Performance group 135.95 and the fitness group 115.75. Of course, as always, uh, you can scale down from that. But the goal is to use the most weight possible while maintaining good form and uh, using good technique. So, if done correctly for most people, you're not going to be able to do. If you can do 12, 9, 6, 5 rounds unbroken, that's the weight is too light. Okay, for today's particular workout. Um, it's a long Metcon. It should take you somewhere around that 12 minutes. There's a hard stop at 20. But what I didn't write on the board, but it's on the website and I want to include it, you're going to do one round and take a minute rest. And then another round and a minute rest. So that's going to lengthen the overall time of your wide. But the reason for I'm doing that is because I want you to go heavier during the um, each round and then take a minute to recover so then you can put forth a good effort again. I don't want it to be this long beat down trying to, you know, just rush through the rounds, doing all the uh, reps unbroken. Now, some people may, okay, but at these heavier weights for our um, main CrossFit groups, it would be difficult. But if you can't do the C, and you're choosing like performance, but you can tear through those rounds unbroken, consider a little bit more weight. And the same thing for fitness. Or if you're scaling down, um, use the most weight to get the best possible workout you can, which is a heavier load with good technique. So that's the wad for today. Hero wad DT. Then your cash out is going to be three rounds for time of five burpees. You're going to start over by the kettlebells, do five burpees, sprint 50 meters across the room. Do 10 wall balls and sprint 50 meters back. Whoops, I'm sliding everything. Fit, sprint back. Three rounds of that. Okay? So five burpees, sprint across the room, pick up a medicine ball, 10 wall balls, sprint back. That's one round. Do three, and there you have it. That would be your cash out, and you're done. So that's your Watt Explained for Tuesday, February 11th, Lawn Metcon. You guys have a great workout. We'll see you back tomorrow. Oops.